I know. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was hard hard to wrap your head around initially because you know this is a, a you know this is franchise that I have enjoyed that's been around for 22 years, so at, and to work with Tom Cruise in any capacity, um, you know, some as an actor, you know. You, you hope to, maybe you hope to, or maybe it's so lofty that you don't even hope that. But, uh, so I was thrilled. I am thrilled. Here we are um, in front of the iconic Eiffel Tower. Harry Cavill and I shot here, you know, early morning, dawn as the sun is coming up, the cool of morning. I believe it was April, April in Paris, you know. <laughs> it was a very special time of year, very special place with wonderful actor. And um, it was the first scene that I shot, so it was great. He walks up behind me, I have to sense his presence, then I tell him what I need him to do, what I expect him to do, and that's to keep an eye on that Ethan Hunt. I'm excited for them to see the whole of it, you know, especially those who've loved, you know, the past, the past missions. And hey! Well, you see how nice he is, you know. I stepped off, he came, he came back, he... You, you see how, how gracious and beautiful he is. It's just indicative of what the entire shoot was like. We are at the Trocadero in Paris in front of the, uh, the Eiffel Tower, which people may recognize, and we actually shot a scene right over there with Henry Cavill and, uh, and Angela Bassett. It's one of the pivotal scenes in the movie, and this was a location we wanted to come back to and celebrate the city. Just that. It's all the locations we get to go to, all the people we get to meet. Um, there's some very good food. I like food. Uh, but more than anything, just uh, just being able to celebrate the locations where we go. And for anybody coming to see this movie, we take you to a place you may never have been. The answer is in your question. You can expect the most stunts in a Mission Impossible you're ever going to see. But it's also a more emotional, more character-driven movie. It's a, it's a slightly darker, slightly grittier Mission Impossible. It's. I, I wish I knew. It's. It's a, a lot of it. Just comes from a, a little conversation about uh, you know Tom saying he wants to do something in a helicopter someday, and we don't. We don't try. We don't rush to do it right that minute. We just talk about it, and it's floating around. And while we're talking about this story, we said, well, hey, the helicopter would work here, or the halo jump would work here. And as a result, a lots of big stunts that we had talked about all ended up in the same movie. Any one of these would have been the stunt, and they're they're all in here together. It, it, the characters, the, just the, the, the team, uh, the, and, and really the uh, just the story, and the fact that this is that, that what Tom insists upon, and what I really love is is visual storytelling, classical visual visual storytelling. It is the most fun and the hardest work ever. Uh, he really pushes you to do your very best and to do more than you thought you were capable of. And uh, you know, when I started my career, I never imagined I'd be directing one of these movies, let alone two, let alone this big. So, the, you know, that's that's that comes from working with Tom. I'm most excited for them to see Fallout. I, I can't wait for them. To, I'm really proud of this movie, and I just can't wait for them to see it. It was a real honour and a pleasure, I'll be honest, um, working with McHugh and, and Tom and Henry and everyone else. Um, you know, you join a franchise, a, a preset family, and you kind of somehow got to find a way in, and, and they were incredibly welcoming and, um, and yeah, made, made for a huge amount of trust that we could work from, and uh, hopefully that translates into the film a little bit. So, so I mean, from the first... Where you're dangling, dangling from the, from your ceiling and you know all that sort of stuff. It, I mean, it's kind of canonized if you want into into film history. So it's like you know, it's, I, I had a ton of fun. It's um, you you get a license to do things maybe that you can you know stretch your character around a little bit. Maybe try and sometimes being a bad guy isn't about shouting and.
It feels amazing. It's very exciting one because it's such a good movie. I watched it the other night and I, I just thought it was amazing. I was on the edge of my seat the whole ride. But because it also took a year to shoot. It was a full year of my life with a moustache for this movie. So I'm, I'm excited to be here finally to show the world. I felt very privileged to join that cast, especially when you've got McHugh directing and writing and Cruz at the top, obviously, in this well-established, fantastic performance cast. And it was, for me, it was kind of like uh, being at school. You know, every day I just got to learn a whole bunch of stuff and, and get paid for it, too. I, yes, signing up to this movie I thought was a wonderful opportunity to actually do the stunts myself. And it, it's the kind of thing which is a learning curve, and I've, I'm now leaving this project thinking there's so much in the way of skill sets that I have to learn. There's only so far that physicality can take you with stunts. You've got to actually know how to fly helicopters, for example, or fly planes. And so helicopter license is next on the ticket. I, well, the whole movie, really. Uh, but if I were to narrow it down to one thing, I would say the helicopter sequence. That's pretty cool. First thought, fear, um, and then the second thought was um, a dream come true. It's really just, it's been part of my life um, since college watching it, and uh, it's, it's one of the biggest films in, in, in the world. So, and everybody, most importantly, knows that tune, that famous uh, Mission Impossible theme. So, be able to, to, so being able to touch it, uh, it's just a dream come true, so it's fantastic. I, I hope we have. I hope we have. I think, I think you sit there and you kind of, you just remember how that famous theme is used constantly in commercials or it's part of folklore now. So I think that you just start, you have to, you watch the film and you just see how it's a, just, it's a darker film. So there's, uh, the themes have to be manipulated more than they ever have in any of the other ones. So. They... Sort of, yes, they do sometimes. Yes, they do. No, I, th I think that there's, there's because there's the, we're seeing a different side to Ethan that we've never seen before. So, so the, so the, his theme really is his journey. So it's just, it, it's a, it's a different, uh, but, but it's taking those famous themes and giving them a twist also. It feels so good on both accounts, you know, um, it was such a, a great honor to be asked the first time to be a part of it and then I, I think I got that call from Christopher and he's like, you know, we're thinking about bringing Julia back and I was like, really? Um, and so it was a really big surprise, but I was so excited by it um, and really getting to work with him and, you know, getting to work with Tom again. But. It was really exciting for me because I'm a fan of the franchise myself and there was like a, a part of me that felt like there was some unfinished business, you know, I was like, wait a second, what really happened? So this has been, it's been really great to be able to explore that uh, once again and it's just been, a, it just is such an exciting franchise for me to be a part of. Well, everything. I love that. There is no one like him that is, is dedicated in whatever moment that he's doing, whether it's a, stu a stunt, whether you're, you know, this close to each other, he is locked in, he's committed, he's dedicated, and, uh, you know, he brings out truly the best in you um, as an actor, you know. It, when I first worked with him, I, had, I hadn't worked that much, and uh, and we had obviously a very great on-screen connection. Um, I felt really comfortable with his work, and then over the course of the years, I got to work with a lot of great actors and then coming back to work with him it, it it reminded me that he really is the finest he's the finest to work with a real pleasure and I've learned a great deal for him oh my gosh oh, my gosh what, what am I most excited to see you know it's truly once again all of the all of the great stunts that are real as we all know and and again as we as, the, as fans expect and know all these great locations, all these spectacular cities that are global that fans get to see shot in their own backyard. I think that's such a huge aspect of why the franchise has been so popular. And I think that we get to see a different side of Ethan, you know, some a side that's a little bit um, um, more human, um, it's a little bit darker, and uh, he's kind of confronting some demons here, so um, that's exciting. 
It's exciting. I, I mean, it feels relatively quick, really. We only stopped shooting, um, you know, the final sort of details of the movie uh, months ago. Uh, and so to be here so quickly feels um, extraordinary. It's so great to be back in Paris, though. I can't think of a better backdrop for this film, you know, than, than this beautiful city. And, um, and, and, and to, to, to show the city like we do with the access we got and able to shoot the city like it has never been shot before. You don't need any help to make Paris look beautiful, but it's great to be able to shoot it in this amount of detail. Um, it's extraordinary. You know, it's like the Paris tourist board are going to be very pleased. I love doing that. I mean, I generally get to at least do one or two things uh, when I'm on my downtime. In New Zealand, I got to go snowboarding because it was like winter there. Here in Paris, I got to just walk the streets and, and soak it up. Paris is somewhere that's, you know, it's close to my home. It's somewhere I've, I've been many, many times. So to be able to be here is a, is a treat. And also shooting in London, you know, that's, that's where I live. So I was able to go home and sleep in my own bed. It's nice to be not dead. A lot of the team don't make it as far as I have. Who knows what happens in this film? We have to wait and see. Um, but I, it's nice being part of the team. It's nice being for Benji to be valued and be sort of um, uh, treated seriously, you know? Um, I, I, it's something I really relish. Yeah, bigger, way bigger. I mean, we have to make them bigger. Do you know what I mean? These, these films, they rely on becoming more and more impossible. We know the last one was turned out to be possible, so this next one has to be impossible again, you know? It has to give us a challenge, and the only way we can challenge ourselves is to make it more intense, more exciting, do crazier things, and that's exactly what we've been doing. It's very it's scary, you know? I mean, I, I sometimes, you just, that's what you heard. I, 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 I fear for Tom, and I've said many times, are you sure you want to do this? And, um, and, and, and I've discussed seriously with him the dangers of what he's about to do, and, and he's always very sort of uh, confident and sure about it. But you know, I was I was relieved to get a call that he broke his ankle, not that it was something else. You know, it says a lot about this film that you can look at a text that says Tom's broken his ankle and say, oh thank God, you know. I mean, the ride. You know, the, it's two and a half hours, and it goes by like that. And it's it's for me, it epitomizes everything that you would want from a sum, summer blockbuster. You know, it's fun, it's engaging, it's not just lights. You know, it's it's characters that you care about, situations that you can get involved in, and it's a thrilling, thrilling experience to watch it. I'm so proud of this movie. It's it's it's. I'm amazed how it's come together. I didn't expect it not to. I'm just surprised how well it has. We are in Paris, <laughs> celebrating uh, Mission Impossible, Fallout, and uh, it's a beautiful evening, beautiful romantic evening. We did, we shot, we shot right there, we shot a scene, Henry and Angela shot, shot a scene there, and we were racing through all of these streets. Oh, definitely. It's the most practical action, I think, ever shot in any film, in the history of films, actually, when, when we add it up, the most practical. We were pushing it. I, you know, we didn't really kind of think about it until we looked at the movie and thought, what? You know, look at, look at how many things we've done. You know, it was hard. You know, some of the stuff we had to cut out of the film that didn't make it. You know, kind of look at it in the DVD. You know, I just love entertaining an audience. I really love coming up with things that I think will thrill them. And that's what I think about. I really, you know, whether I'm, when I go to make a film, I'm, I'm employing every part of me, every skill as a, as a filmmaker, as, you know, the physicality, the artistry, and all, all of us are doing that. Every aspect of that, every, every producer we have on the film, every, every department, I really want that and they want to give it. And that's, that's what I'm thinking about. How can we, how can we entertain the audience? We've made nine films together. We have made nine films. I, I love him. I love working with him. He's, he's an utter genius. Uh, he's, he's just uh, he's so much fun to work with. Uh, every day, you know, I, I love the surprises that he has. His writing is amazing. His taste is very elegant. His composition is elegant. So I have a lot of respect for him. I love their characters. Uh, I love how they play these characters. I remember being all the way back to the very first one, Simon, when he came on board, and, and to have you know the whole new team that's here. Uh, I just I look forward to working with them every day, and I, I missed it like when we're done. You know, it's like oh man, you know. So we're here now to be able to celebrate together, which is lovely. I'm just looking forward to see the whole movie. You know, that's that's I can't wait for them to see it. That's you know we we dream of moments like this and think of think of this and I, I'm just looking forward to that. 
Oh, it's amazing. It, you know, I, the fact that also my character is Vanessa Redgrave's daughter from the first movie. So to think that I'm t linked to somebody in the very first movie from 1996 is amazing. Who'd have thought? Yes, I remember watching the very first one with all of them and Kristen Scott Thomas and everybody with my family at home when I was very little. And I remember all the stunts, so it was really surreal to be on set, you know, and and to hear the theme music, <laughs> you know. It was surreal. I mean, you think that, you know that he does all his own stunts because he's known for it. But then when you actually see him do it in person, it is quite extraordinary. It's like an art form that I've never seen. It's given me a whole new appreciation. I've never done a stunt before. So um, watching him and doing my own sequence was really wonderful and it's definitely given me an appetite for it. I suppose just a whole new journey and new characters and uh, new locations and you know Ethan I think is troubled in this one. He has a conscience that's caught up with him over five movies and I, that's what I loved about it, it's sort of dark, it's much darker.